Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Sunday the 20th of March 2016 and we're asking the question, why is President Obama attempting to improve relations with Cuba? Only a few hours ago it was announced that President Obama is flying to Cuba for a historic visit where he will meet President Raul Castro, the son of the revolutionary leader Fidel Castro. The pair will discuss trade and political reform. Whilst the 54-year-old US economic embargo of Cuba can only be lifted by a vote in Congress, we have already witnessed improved relations between the two nations in recent years. These have included commercial deals on telecoms and a scheduled airline service, in addition to law enforcement and environmental protection measures. In December 2014, President Obama announced moves to normalise diplomatic and economic ties, followed by secret talks in 2015 with the Pope in Canada and at the Vatican. In August 2015, the US reopened its embassy in Havana, a month after Cuba reopened its embassy in Washington. With the US last year concluding a deal with Iran, normalising economic relations and now attempts being made with Cuba, we ask the question, why? The embargo with Cuba allegedly costs the US $1.2 billion in lost trade, which frankly is chump change considering the size of the US economy. So we ask, is this just to provide Obama with a positive political legacy when he leaves office? Or is there perhaps a more sinister outreach to socialist and communist countries? Or is there another reason? What do you think? We would like to hear your views. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative. And if so, please give it a thumb up and share it on Twitter. Also, kindly visit our website at www.illuminatisilver.com and look at our Facebook page, which is updated daily at www.facebook.com forward slash Illuminati Silver. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners. <laughs>